Hello, Ritzy Roy here again. This is part two of the villager guide I was making in the before you main series. I broke this one into multiple parts because I realized the two gameplay footages I picked were really long. I didn't want to just do one gameplay because, you know, there's, I'm doing a guide for two characters. But to make it more, I guess, palatable or consumable, I just broke it up into multiple parts. So this is going to be the labing section where I'm going to talk about the pros and cons and more specific things to look for in a fight. And then I'm... That's all this video is going to be about is the lapping. If you want to see the gameplay, um, check the first part where I just break down gameplay. But this is dedicated purely just for lapping because I didn't want... When I put the whole video together, it was rather long. It was like, I think, 36 minutes. So, enjoy this little brief version. Alright, so, after you see the gameplay, you probably got some idea of the pros and cons, but I'm just going to list them out on your list. So, pros of Villager are, for a zoner, you can get your combos going um, kind of easily. Yeah, easily. There's a lot of ways you can get your combos going. This is a um, pro that is not present on Isabel as much, but Villager can get his combos going off of multiple things, which make him a lot more potent and neutral. And in general, Villager's neutral is rather solid. However, it is countered by Sorties, which kind of sucks because pretty much both of my footages were against Sorties or whatever. <laughs> his neutral is slightly countered by Sorties. Um, the second pro is that you have good option. You have a good option out of Shield and just a fast frame data option in general in villager's nair his big bobble head and his legs are both parts of his hitbox in this situation so if you notice that's his entire body pretty much with his little stubby abdomen or whatever you call this area like tucks in whenever he does his move his little upper body so basically your entire body is just a blob of a hitbox as you move forward this move is extremely annoying spammable does not have that much end lag, and I think auto cancels. Yeah, it auto cancels. So you might be able to do some like double nair shenanigans on people, but it doesn't have too much hits on that low percent. Generally, it's just a nice move that comes out really quick and is a good option out of shield. And my gameplay, I challenge it. I sometimes challenge people with it. So yeah, the nair is a pro in itself. I think I. Ex and then his third pro I would give him is the fact that. He is kind of flexible and you can kind of play closer with him and go for more combos and stuff. Or when it's time to really sit back and play slow, you can do things like pulling out your tree, um, using axe and things like that. So basically, by let me deeper explain. By flexible, I mean like Mega Man, for example, is a zoner where he just has to keep throwing pellets at you and that's all he can do. Like yada yada yada. That makes him a neutral zoner and his projectiles are mainly helpful and neutral. He has some set play things. Villager has a combination of set play and project set by set play projectiles and projectiles that are helpful and neutral or spam projectiles, I guess you could call them. This is amazing because usually the trade off for his owners is they usually have to trade off the neutral for their set play stuff, but Villager doesn't have to do that. You have a good combination of both, so I I put that in a as a pro. You have Lloyd Rocket for neutral for set play. You have Down Smash, which is a um, this thing kills really early. It's a bowling ball. You drop off the ledge. It deletes recoveries. I used it a few times in my gameplay. It's absolutely amazing. An even more riskier version of this is Tree. This also drops off the ledge, completely melts, it completely erases people. Tree, whenever I see it used competitively, is mainly used for the fact that I think when you strike it with your, um, your axe, I think it extends the hitbox of your axe a little bit. That, and... The fact that it's a when when I put it down, I have my second controller hooked up. I can show you when I put tree down. Um, that's the CPU and control. You guys probably know this, but tree is like an uh extra little thing that people have to move through, and it kind of slows down their approaches. And I think people's hitboxes and projectiles get caught on this. So something you're gonna notice really quickly is villager is a good zoner for counter zoning or not getting camped out. Which is why that Joker, when they were fighting my Isabel, because she still kind of has those properties too, didn't do so hot trying to zone me out. Because it's really not a good idea to try to camp out Villager. Between his pocket and his, um, between his pocket and his tree, it's not a good idea to try to zone him out. Which, once again, I kind of lump all of everything I said into, like, the fact that he's really flexible and the fact that he can play a strong neutral, he can set play you, and he's a good counter zoner, so... He's a flexible zoner that can do all the different facets of one of the zoners instead of like Mega Man who mainly just has neutral zoning. That's kind of it. So let's get to his cons. His cons are he doesn't have too many disjointed moves that beat swords. 
And because he's a projectile based character, swords to sometimes just go clean through his projectiles. So in general, he struggles against sword. That's his first con. His second con is his mobility stats are not bad, but they're not amazing. They're kind of just average. He doesn't have an amazing short hop either. It's okay, but it's not like it's not like that that really good roar short hop or like the fox short hop that you're gonna be using for pressure. It's kind of just like meh. You know, it, I think it rises kind of high, and you don't have an aerial that's super threatening out of short hop. It's still decent, but it's not amazing. So mobility is basically just average. You're not gonna have like um blistering speed to mess people up with, which is Kind of a decent thing that I'm happy Villager isn't fast. He shouldn't be fast. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. Let me um, unmute my Spotify. My bad. Okay. I keep doing that in my videos. I think I did that. I did that in the first take version. I muted Spotify for a bit longer than the ad was. So yeah, um, you're not really fast and you struggle against swords. And rushdown can be kind of a pain, and your recovery off stage is not as good as it could be. Those I know. Here's when my philosophy on recovery comes in. This is pro. This is a lot of pro players share his philosophy. A recovery is good based off two things: its length and how easy it is to edge guard. Villager's recovery completely excels in length. You can go extremely far with this thing. However, it does not excel with not being um hard to. It does not excel in being hard to edge guard. It's very easy to edge guard for someone who has a good edge guarding character because he doesn't really move really quickly and he doesn't have a hurt bot he doesn't have a hitbox that's active above him so you can kind of just jump and hit him and there's nothing stopping you from doing it and on top of that he doesn't have like no view reverses or something he can do in the air so his movement is kind of i would guess slow and predictable it's really momentum based and stuff like that and if he does it too many times if you solve there you get one balloon this weakness also applies to Isabelle. She recovers too many times, she gets one balloon. So that's also another weakness to it. Which if you're constantly getting edge guarded, it's gonna you're gonna get into situations where you probably have one balloon left. With once once you have one balloon left, this recovery is like legitimately one of the worst in the game. It sucks. <laughs> that like threw me off. They just said who's that Pokemon? <laughs> I'm trying to look for a song that you know what we're covering um animal crossing characters so let's throw on some animal crossing music that makes sense right yeah i just thought about that let me throw on animal crossing okay so yeah that's generally your problems with, with villager these translate over to isabel however since we're in the labbing portion of the video let me show off some specific things you do with each character i play isabel a little bit more than villager so i'm a little more familiar with um the isabel tech and stuff than villager stuff i know villager is a both these characters are characters that um you will benefit dearly a lot from not dearly you would benefit a lot from taking them to the lab so the first thing i'm going to talk about with isabel is that when lloyd rocket hits someone this isn't really tech but it's just like a thing you could start doing with her when lloyd rocket hits people um don't just you don't always have to just let it explode out of lloyd rocket you can get follow-ups and stuff like that which this is important because let's say um you uh, hold on i'm gonna take us to should i just walk i'm just gonna walk over there if you have someone at like 70 percent and they're on a platform and you lord rocket them that might not kill them but if you lord rocket and up air them i can guarantee you a lot of characters could just die at like 70 or like 80 percent to that because lord rocket up air is really strong especially i think if you get like the good variation with like a three turnips I keep forget, I think villagers, I think villagers, yeah, villagers up there is RNG. I think Isabel's isn't. That's another difference between the two of them. If I'm right. Yeah, Isabel just always has like a two a two turn up up there, which is nice. I think villager though, he can get like three turns, which does just stupid amounts of damage. Okay, so I plant this here. Y'all wow, I almost killed her at 45. So this honestly could probably kill it like 60. That's Samus, by the way. She's kind of heavy. Well, that's Samus. You know it's Samus. That's Samus's weight. She's kind of heavy to be dying at like 60%. But if you can get a Lord Rocket on a platform, I would guarantee you go for either the up air or the up throw combo out of it. So remember, you can follow up on Lord Rocket. That's the main thing I want you to get from this with Isabelle is Lord Rocket sets you up for follow-ups. Another huge thing with her is... You should probably lab the distances 
Can I like fix camera maybe? To show that it's better? Ah, uh, it's gonna be hard to see though. You can lab the distances on her fishing pole because if you lab it correctly, you might just be able to literally fishing pole people's recoveries as they're trying to come back. Another thing is you can control where her fishing pole goes by smashing, by either like smashing side B or just slightly pressing it. As you can see that here at like at the little blue line, I'm going to slightly press it and it just barely goes over. I'm going to flick it here or smash it and it goes to the red line. So this is something you can do with Isabel. You can lab her on things. Oh, hold on. Which we're covering different recoveries. This is really useful just to know the, the general um, area it picks up. So that's why I would suggest labbing with Isabel. Is lab her fishing rod lengths. Um, lab her Lloyd Rocket follow-ups. The thing I'm about to show at Villager is something you got to lab between the two of them. And that is um, your slingshot fair trains. I might have mentioned that earlier. But yeah, slingshot fair trains are going to give you... Slingshot fair trains, okay, I'm gonna remember to unmute this time, are gonna give you, um, what's it called? They give you good damage, they give you good stage control, and just generally are damning if you get hit by it. I actually just fought Pokeland recently, and one of the scariest things that Villager can do at low percent and neutral, I would say, is probably Slingshot Train. He can do other things scarier than this, but, um, forwarder loops are terrifying, because they just... The one, if you're trying to rush down Villager, they just get rid of all the stage control you had against them, so that's pretty bad. And two, if you're like Roy or someone, you might die because you can just get carried off the stage and just not make it back if your recovery is not good enough. And it sets you up to be edge guarded. And on top of all those benefits, it also goes, does good damage. And the last thing I think that I can think about with it is the fact that it works off stage. Yeah, that's what it is. So you see here, I'm like kind of re jumping, but. At higher percents, you can fair train people off stage with them, which is absolutely terrifying. So lab your fair trains. And a good thing to lab with fair trains would be just getting a lab how to get fair trains out of multiple situations. Like you can get them out of, I think, Lloyd Rocket sometimes. You can get fair trains out of down throw. You can sometimes get fair trains if people are landing in on you. I think if the tree hits them, you might be able to, yep, you can get a fair train off the tree hitting people. Your most damning combos, Villager has good combo game just because of the fair trains, I would say. That's, that's mainly what he does. When you're not, when you're not doing fair trains, you're generally just throwing out Nair or just like zoning options to cue people out. But like your really good damage getter type thing, you're not damage getter, but you're good like thing. Oh, I did forget to unmute, my bad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so your good thing you're going to be doing to rack up damage or the more technical aspect is probably going to be the fair trains and um, spiking people with down air. But just remember, with Villager, your up air and down air are RNG, I think. Yeah, they're RNG. So keep that in mind. With Isabel, you just get consistent up air and down air. Villager, it, it's not consistent. So that is a difference the two of them have. Also, Villager smash attacks, I would say, are slower but provide more utility while isabelle's are all snappier isabelle has snappier um that smash attacks that are probably isabelle's dash uh, smash attacks are better in a scramble situation while villagers are better when you have the lead i'd say they her like her up smash is really nice when you're in a scramble situation so yeah that's pretty much the lab portion of the video it's all the things i want to talk about in training mode i didn't want to lump those Facts into the gameplay because the video was getting excessively long. This is Ritzy Roy signing out. Remember, these are zoners that are going to struggle with swords, disadvantage state, the recovery is not that good, and try to lab out fair trains. Have fun with Villager and Isabel.